do you think that might be an effective way to approach these lulls in creativity? Appro approach them as tests? I know that's not necessarily what that is, right. but especially in America and the, the, West, the Western world, we like to apply these challenges to everything. Everything's a challenge. And I think there is wisdom in the idea of do hard things because they're hard. Right. And don't, you're not trying to achieve something. You're just, the act is the achievement. Right. But then again, sometimes it's useful to have more of a straight line metaphor where do you think looking at it as if it was a test and you have to continue to pass these tests. This is something we see in YouTube all the time, right? Somebody gets excited. They make a year worth of great videos where they're all in on photography and then go away. And it, it, that channel is gone forever. Yeah. And you're like, what happened to that channel? I love that channel. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I feel like the answer is probably, well, I just didn't have the spark for it anymore. And the spark, in my experience, it's always come back if you continue to pursue it. If mm -hmm. you continue to sit down and do the work, eventually something will come back. But you can also, it can also go away if you just you know, pour water on it and don't. Right. If you ignore it for long enough. So do you think it's, it's useful, roundabout, do you think it's useful to look at it as a test? And maybe we stretch that metaphor a little bit and explore that a little bit of, hey, these are tests that you have to... I think the biggest thing is that it's a mechanism for building self-awareness. You have really have to ask yourself as you experience, I think, your growth as someone who's creative or an artist, am, do I only do this when it's like the most fun and exhilarating parts of it? Yeah. Whether it's... You know, um, again, the moment the inspiration strikes, you're struck by lightning, you sit down and write, paint, sculpt, whatever it is, like at two o'clock in the morning and, you know, this thing comes out yeah. and it's amazing and then it goes out into the world and everybody in the world thinks it's amazing and you train yourself to think like every creative yeah. moment has to be like that That's and you're waiting way. for it to happen. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's three years before the next thing comes out, you know, uh, you know, maybe there are some artists that have had careers like that. Uh, but I feel like, you know, that's something that I use to ask myself, how do you, how do you embrace those magic, amazing moments just as well as the most difficult and arduous yeah. ones? And to me, it's not necessarily, yeah, to me, it's, it, 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 it it's a test of, of you know your passion your dedication your compulsion your obsession your 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 need to use whatever that form is to create something and it doesn't have to be like one yeah. you know like it can it can be multiples and, and for me i felt feel like i have gone through different art forms or creative outlets as an iterative process to get to where absolutely. I am now. Absolutely. And, you know, I may abandon certain things that I was incredibly focused on for almost 10 years, like screenwriting yeah. and in a sense, abandon it, apply what I learned and about it myself and the form to, to move on to something else. Uh, whereas someone might, you know, pick up a guitar when they're seven years old and they literally never set it down their entire life. And all they do is make music. Yeah. They don't, you know, they don't have a, have, but you always hear about those folks having, you know, th they paint or they draw or they do something else. There's like they have some even alternative. If, yeah. Even if it doesn't turn into a career or they're not exhibiting their work in galleries or, you know, whatever, there's, there's other ways that they, they experience creativity. So that's a, a very long and, um, labyrinthian answer. But, but to me, thinking of it as a test for your, for developing your self-awareness and ascertaining what is your level of dedication to life in this, in this, in this experience, this way, this creative artistic yeah. way, because it's a lot different. And maybe in some ways it's not from 
you know, punching a clock nine to five and, yeah. and doing, doing the work. There are, there are probably, there probably are similarities where, I mean, at the beginning of the, the Jiro dreams of sushi documentary, he's, he's staring at the camera yeah. and it's this find what you want to do and dedicate every <laughs> waking something along the lines of just dedicate yourself to it completely. Yeah. And he's like, that's how you will garner respect and you will, that's how you will achieve, I, you call it mastery or whatever. Yeah. He's just like, do it constantly. And you know, there's going to be ups and downs on that. And if you want to look at it on a linear thing, then the top of that, that achievement is mastery right. in some sense or another. Yeah, it's there's going to be multiple peaks and valleys that you're going to have to navigate. It had been a golden afternoon, and I remember having the familiar conviction that life was beginning over again with the summers. 